Let's talk about tabs. This is the last navigational component we're going to cover. And unlike the previous two, the springboard and the list menu, guess what? These are not OS neutral. You'll see what I mean here in a moment. You have to decide where you want to put your tabs, at the top or at the bottom. For me, I prefer them at the bottom because that's where my thumb is, usually when I'm holding my, my cell phone. Another note, you can actually make these scrollable. Uh, not immediately obvious to most users uh, when this happens, but it, it's fairly common in the mobile world. We're seeing it more and more. We just need to figure out a good way to make it real obvious and make that means uh, consistent. But here's what I mean by these are not OS neutral. Apple's telling developers, hey, put your tabs along the bottom. And Blackberry, they don't know what they're doing, so they just copy Apple, put them at the bottom. But Android says, no, 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 put them at the top. And at the top, this is actually a bit more common uh, when compared to what we're used to in the desktop world. So maybe easier for users to transition to, but again, this is maybe easier to reach with your thumb. So you will have to decide where you want to put them. And because we don't target a, a particular OS, you can put them wherever you want. It'll be fine. Let's add some tabs. So for this, I actually need to go to that global page, page zero. And down here we see that there's actually a footer region. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a subregion inside the footer, which will be the tabs. But I'm going to do this using a list, which we've not yet created. So we'll go to our shared components. We'll create a list. And we'll call this very simply tabs. It is a static list, and we need three entries. Just like our springboard, we need one home, that'll take you to page one. Another for customers, that'll take you to page two. And finally, products, those are found on page four. So we'll create this list. We'll return to page zero. And now I can right click here, and I can create a subregion. And we'll see our list option. I'm going to call this tabs. Now what's important is the template that I select. We're actually going to select two while creating this particular region. The first template is the region template, and I need one of these footer options. I'm going to use footer toolbar full screen. Here we have uh, the list, and of course we only have one, it's the tabs list. But again, I have a template to select, and for this I'm going to use navigation bar. So we'll create this list region, and when we return to the demo, say we go to the home page, we now see some tabs along the bottom. But it'd be nice if we could add some icons above them. What I found in the new templates, and there was a question that came in earlier um, regarding templates. Let me show you the list template. This is the navigation bar list template. So there's this data icon which refers to the image portion of your list entries. So if we go into the uh, list entries for tabs, drill into say home, and here the image you can put for example home. Apply that change, refresh your app, and you see the home icon. Now that's neat um, to know about all the different icons you have. You'll have to explore the jQuery documentation, the jQuery mobile documentation. So here are the icon sets. We have left arrow, right arrow, and so on. Here's the uh, home you just saw me use. You just find the one you want, take this text, and put it in the image area. But what if I want to use custom images? Well, that's supported too. You'll see how to do that down here. So I've just taken uh, some of the concepts from there and cooked up some CSS to do exactly that. So I'm going to copy this, and hopefully this will work, <laughs> this will work for me. So I'm going to return to page zero. And I need to put some CSS sort of on every page. Well, guess what you can't do on the global page? So I'm going to be a little sneaky here. I'm going to go into the tabs region, and I'm going to drop this CSS inside the region header. Now it's starting 
with a, an element selector by ID for the footer tabs. So I need to drop this inside the static ID of my region. Um, the question was, are these workspace images? And in fact, they are. Again, I'm using Glyphish icons. You can find those uh, in, in a Google search. Uh, I, I bought them. They're cheap, and I, and I like the look and feel a lot better than what's available by default in jQuery Mobile. Right. Never mind. Never mind. So, um, uh, so the so the mobile functionality. There was a question I, I thought was great. Um, you know, uh, if if you wanted to uh, build a desktop and a mobile app, would you have to have two versions of each page? No, uh, actually, you don't. This is something that changed quite dramatically in, in Apex 4.2. So when you look at an app, there's a new column here, user interface. And this particular app is using two, desktop and jQuery mobile smartphone, whereas these are using only one. So it is possible now in a single application to have multiple user interfaces and thus multiple themes within a single application. Also recently announced in the uh, Apex 5 Point zero release. The um, the plan is to include another user interface for tablets in the next release. Cool. And let's sneak in one more here, Dan. Um, is it possible to implement images by URL, not as a blob? Absolutely. Uh, so in the return there. Oops. So I was here. We'll look at page four. We'll go into the attributes for the list view. And right here, you'll see that option. So you can use an image stored as a blob, or you can read from a URL. Yep, it exists. Any other questions? Um, <clears throat> there's, there's actually a few. Uh, can I have more than two user interfaces, and how do I add them? So if I return to one of the uh, oops, sorry, applications that currently only has one, um, maybe this bug tracking app only has a desktop UI. Uh, you can go to Edit Application Properties. You'll find your user interface at the top here. And toward the bottom, you'll see the ability to add a new user interface. So if you wanted to add the jQuery mobile smartphone here, you could do that. Or if you had a jQuery mobile smartphone, you want to add the desktop, you could do that as well. Uh, and as I said before, we'll probably be seeing a, a third option for tablets in the, in the next release of Apex.